Hello students, today we are going to talk about a topic called comparing quantities of class 7. Now, when we have to compare two quantities, we can do it in many different ways. Say, if, if for example, if you say, uh, my sister is two years younger than me, two years younger than me. You can say that you are comparing your sisters and your age. This is your age and your sister's age. Two years younger than me. How are you going to express that? Say for example, your age is 8. Your sister's age will be 2 years younger. Younger means lesser. So, it will be minus 2. So, 8 minus 2. So, that's a way 6. Right? This way you also you can say 2 years younger. Or 2 years older. Or 2 years older means it will become addition. Extra 2 years. Right? So, that is one way of comparing. Today, However, we are talking about comparing two things using fractions. Means what? Now, for example, um, if I say I have a pizza and and you, you it is six it has six pieces six pieces and you are uh, you ate of two let's say you ate of two and the remaining is left out. That means you you will say how will you compare? I ate less only. How will you say? I ate only 2 out of the 6. Maybe, maybe your, your friend or somebody has a different pizza and they ate how much? Let's say 5 pieces. 5 pieces. Oh, sorry, this is 8. Sorry, this is 8. Two, 8 of, 2 out of 8 you have eaten. And your friend has eaten 5 out of 8. Now, 5 out of 8 is fine. What if it is 5 out of 6? If it was 5 out of 6 that the, that the your friend has eaten. Correct? Let's say there is only 6 and your friend has eaten 5 out of 6. Now who has eaten more? Who has eaten more? Have you eaten more or has she eaten more? To, the, to, the, to do that, we know out of means you can always represent, right? 2 by 8. This one will be 5 by 8. You, you say no, sorry, 5 by 6. You say no, I got 20 out of 25 marks. So, that means 20 by 25, right? Like that. Now, we got two different fractions that you can compare. This is just like you are going to compare the fractions. Now, how do you compare the fractions? If the denominators are not same, you are going to make the denominator same and then make it, right? So, for making the comparison, of course, the one simple thing is cross multiplication, right? So, this becomes 12 by 48. This becomes 40 by 48. Obviously, 40 by 48 is more. So, you want to compare like this. Now, you can also compare one quantity with the other quantity. Like now one building is 1 feet, 150, 150 meter high. Right? Another building is um, 135 meter high. Okay. Now if you compare these two things, of course you can use this is 15 meter more than. That is one way of doing. The other way of doing it is you can just divide one over the other or you can write it as a fraction you can write it as a fraction and simplify this fraction you can simplify this fraction 15 times 10 and 15 times 9 so it is 10 is to 9 that means if you say if you want to paint the buildings you will know that if this painting, this building is going to charge 1000 rupees. How much will this charge? To know that, if you know that it is 150 over 135, then this is talking about the big, long building. This is talking about the small building. Now we have to see 1000 rupees is for this building. Then how much it will be for this building? Now, because the building heights are same and the paint required will be accordingly more, we can write this, 
writing the fraction in this form is called as ratio okay ratio is nothing but writing a fraction means if the ratio is 2 is to, if the fraction is 2 is to 3 how do you write that as a ratio 2 is to 3 that's all simple nothing different so we know this one now we also know equivalent fractions if you remember 2 third is same as 4 6 how did you get it by multiplying 2 remember just like that if ratio is fraction then this equivalent fraction is called as a proportion let me repeat that let me repeat that let me repeat that 2 by 3 can be written as this can be written as 2 is to 3 now 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 6 equivalent fraction now that can be written as 2 is to 3 is equal to 4 is to 6 so writing the equivalent fractions is called proportion and writing the fraction in another form is called as ratio simple so whenever you've got a ratio change it into fraction and do the calculation whenever you've got a proportion change it into a equivalent fraction kind of a thing and then solve the problem now coming back to our question coming back to our question this 150 meter high building to paint it it costs 1000 rupees so how much it will cost to paint the 135 meter high building so now what we what did we do come we compared the 150 and the 135 with each other by converting it into a fraction now if you ask me can i write it as 135 over 150 yes you can write you can write but I'll come to that and talk about it later. As of now, we have compared this 150 meter high and 135 meter high in a certain form like 150 by 135. And we simplified it and we got a 10 is to 9. Okay. You can write this ratio as 150 is to 135 also. You can write. No problem. Because it's all the same. Okay. Now, you got to know that 10, 10 is to 9 is the this building long building by short building this is long building by short building and writing rupees also this is long this side only is long and this side is short so if you remember that which side what is coming the same thing has to come that means to say now i can compare this as first is long buildings is to the short buildings that is equal to long buildings printing uh, sorry painting cost is to short buildings i don't know correct so i have to write like this remember very important is whatever quantity whatever type you're talking about in the left side same has to come here also whatever you're talking about right side right side means a short building then this right side should be the short building that very important thing you have to keep note now as i told you what did you do this is the proportion we can convert that into a fraction write it as a fraction 10 over 9 is equal to 1000 over question mark. And you already, already know, like fractions, if you have to find, what is the thing? Is cross multiply, correct? 10 into question mark is equal to 9 into 1000. And the question mark will be equal to 9 into 1000 by 10. That will be 900. So, it will take 900 rupees to paint the shorter building. That is, if I write the proportion like this, correct? Now, let's take and write it in different format, right? Like previously I told you. Can I write it as 135 by 150? Okay, let's see. 135 by 150 means if you simplify the fraction, you will get 9 and 10. So, the ratio becomes 9 is to 10. So, you have to remember this is a short building and this is a long building. Now, we can write the proportion. This we write. This is the short. Correct? This is the short. For short, how much is the money? This is short. We don't know. Is to long, long building. What's the money? Thousand. 
thereby you got it correctly now you can always do the same thing 9 by 10 is equal to question mark by 1000 when you do cross multiply what happens you just take the 1000 here right so 9 into 1000 by 10 is equal to question mark the 10 was down itself correct so you get a 900 see both the ways you get the same thing but the very important thing very important thing is whatever quantity you're taking the same quantity has to be represented in the other fractions first part left uh, other ratios left side that is very important in the next video we'll talk about how percentages can be used to compare quantities